welcome to my new channel i can't believe i'm doing this i've been wanting to do this for a little while and i've just been like asking my friends and stuff like that and i decided that i'll just go ahead and do it and just take the risk because you know you only live once you might as well do the things that you want in life so basically today what i wanted to do is a little bit of a get to know me type vibe like little questions i put on my instagram story um what questions you guys wanted to ask me or like what like interesting questions there were other than just the usual so i put that out there and i got a bunch of replies and i'm really thankful for all the people that suggested they were really good questions and i said to incorporate some of them um if you guys want to follow any of my social medias or anything like that it'll be down below and let's get on with the video boy dexter for being such a boy genius you sure do make the dumbest things so basically i have there's obviously like just a few generic questions that i asked you today so i'm going to start with those ones the first one is my name my name is Abina Mandevora and I live in Sydney, Australia and it might sound like I don't really have an Australian accent it's because I've sort of like moved all over the place in like the past years of my life so I used to live in South Africa well let's get started I was born here this is the place I was born this is my country my home so i was born in sydney and i was here until i was like 10 years old and then me and my family decided to go to south africa and that is basically just where we stayed for about four years and i love it there i don't know why people make such like assumptions about south africa like sometimes yes it can be unsafe but the people that i met there and the people that i was just like vibing with there were really lovely and i also met my best friend there so shout out to her <laughs> and i just love the country to be honest and then two years ago or one year ago i moved back here and honestly i'm loving it i'm loving reconnecting with my old friends and just getting to see like new places and I'm just loving it to be honest so that's why my accent is kind of a little bit all over the place who are you? I'm your substitute coach the next question is how old am I? I am 15 years old and I'm currently in year 10 of school so that's fun I only have two more years left after this year So the next question that I got on my story is what is my aesthetic? I don't really know to be honest. I love to think of myself as an aesthetic person but I don't think that I have a particular aesthetic so I don't know. I just feel like grey, white and like warm toned things like as you can see from my bed and I love 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 wood accents because I feel like they also bring it into that like warm tone so that's also something that I love. Next question that I got was, do I miss South Africa? Yes, I absolutely miss South Africa, but I've learned to just like make peace with that. And obviously I can go there and visit anytime that I want. So it's sort of like a calm situation. The next question that I got is what is my daily motivation? I was actually talking with my friends about this today. I love the law of attraction and that's something that I'm really like, I wouldn't say passionate about, but I really love to like watch videos about it and practice it in my daily life. 
and write down the things that I'm grateful for and try and manifest things. And I also believe that the law of attraction can work in you for other people, you know? So like if somebody else, like you see that somebody else has something that they need, you can also work in like your um, journey of law of attraction to help them. And my daily motivation is just to create happiness, I guess. King late again, Dexter. Yes, sir, Yanni. I'll be burning the midnight oil tonight for sure. Another question I got was, what are some of the things that you like about Australia? I can make so many, like, I can make a huge list for this. But I'm going to narrow it down some of my favorite things. Um, firstly, the public transport here is so good. Like, I feel like many Australians um, maybe take this for granted or they don't like understand how blessed they are. But the public transport system are here is so good. You can go from place to place and you only have to pay a small, small, small amount. It's so cool for people who like maybe don't have like you're going to school and maybe you live far. Maybe you don't have parents to drop you off. The public transport system is so good. And, um, another thing I really like is just their shops. Oh my word. Oh my word. I love going shopping here so much. I go like almost every weekend with my mom or with my friends or something like that because I just love shopping. The next question that I got was what inspired you to start your YouTube channel? So this is gonna sound really really weird but I feel like it's a very common thing. So basically I was just on YouTube this next part is really boring and basic. Um, I thought I knew what I was talking about a man. I mean, I guess not. Also, I look really bad right now, so that's fun. I was on YouTube just scrolling through, watching videos. I remembered that like a long time ago, I had actually started a YouTube channel. And it was like, maybe when I was in like year six or year seven. I started a YouTube channel and I wasn't really like motivated then because I didn't really like have the mindset that I do now of like the persistence and trying hard and working at something that you really want but I was just remembering that and I was thinking if I put a little bit more effort into that or if I had kind of just watered it a little bit more it could have gone really far so i'm a big believer of giving things more than one chance if you believe in them so i decided that i would just start again even though it's 2020 we can still start youtube channels and it can still become something quite big so i'm just looking forward to like a journey and something that i'm like inspired by and i just want to have like sort of a creative space i have some really cool video ideas and like Sometimes when I do watch YouTube, I'm like, oh, I could have done that or like, oh, that's really cool. So I just realized why not? Like, we only live once, as I said before, so might as well go ahead and do it. My last question today is what is one big goal in life that I want to achieve? There's so many, like, <laughs> like, I think like I have a problem because I am such an optimist. I have such big plans for my life. And also I have such big like, oh, what's the word? Visions for like other people in my lives, like lives, their, their lives. I love to see what other people could do in their life. And I love to see what I can do in my life. And um, one of the big, big goals in my life is to be able to just like give back to my parents you know because I feel like they've done so much in their life for me and for my sisters I love them so much and I just want to get to a spot where I can show them through like things that I give them maybe big things like some big things that they've given me um just how much I love them you know because sometimes like those things like even though like it might sound like a very shallow thing to say but when people receive a gift like you can feel 
like by what the gift is the person's like love for you and their gratitude for you so that's just something that i have a really good like that's one of my big goals just being able to give back to my parents and show them how much i'm grateful for them um and my other really um big goal is i really want to be a lawyer and i know that sounds like such a cliche job to do and just to say oh, i want to be a lawyer and that business sector is like really saturated but when i was younger and people would ask me what do you want to do like up until maybe year eight or year nine i would always say i don't know 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 and i would never really like go for any of those generic like i want to be an ash i want to be a firefighter i want to be a model blah 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 but just a few years ago i just had for some reason this burning passion just to do law and um to work in the law and to work with the constitution and just like to help people that don't really have a voice because i've always just believed in fairness and when i whenever i see like things that are unfair or people given opportunities that they don't deserve and other people do it just really like gets me down and one of the jobs that is really about fairness and equal and fair opportunities and equal and fair judgment is law so i really just have researched about that so much like i've researched so many things universities business places even though i'm only 15 i really want to be prepared and able to go into that and i don't think i'll change my mind i really really doubt that i'll change my mind but that is just something that i have a real passion for at the moment just the law and everything i've watched so many law shows <laughs> well even though most of the time it doesn't like really depict the real life um i've watched so many law shows how to get away with murder suits um even though this is not a law one but designated survivor as well i love that show and also my mom really just helps me um just with my vision like to tell me what things like practical and what things aren't practical and that's really just helped me in like just kind of like visualizing what my life will be like in like 10 20 years so i'm very grateful for it i hope that you guys have liked this video and just have gotten to know me a little bit more i'm going to be trying keeping consistent in my videos and just like trying to upload once every week or every two weeks um, at this point, I'm just going to kind of keep it like just casual and just doing stuff that I love and we'll see how it goes from there. So thank you guys for watching and just tune in next time.